The Jacanas are a group of tropical waders in the family Jacanidae. They are found in the tropical regions around the world. They are noted for their elongated toes and toenails that allow them to spread out their weight while foraging on floating or semi-emergent aquatic vegetation. The specific habitat preferences of jacanas may vary depending on the species, but generally, they are associated with wetland areas such as marshes, swamps, shallow lakes, and ponds. They are often found in freshwater environments that have dense vegetation, including areas with floating plants like water lilies and water hyacinths. Jacanas are medium-sized birds with unique physical features. On average, jacanas range in size from about 25 to 30 centimeters in length. Their wingspan typically measures around 50 to 60 centimeters. The weight of jacanas can vary depending on the species and individual birds. On average, jacanas typically weigh between 70 to 200 grams. However, it's important to note that there are different species of jacanas, and their weights can vary within this range. The lifespan of jacanas can vary depending on factors such as species, environmental conditions, and predation risks. In general, jacanas have relatively short lifespans compared to some other bird species. On average, jacanas can live for around 5 to 10 years in the wild. However, there have been documented cases of jacanas living up to 15 years or more. Jacanas have a compact and streamlined body shape, ideal for navigating through their wetland habitats. They have relatively long legs and toes, which are specially adapted for walking on floating vegetation and lily pads. These long toes enable them to distribute their weight and move gracefully across the water surface without sinking. Jacanas typically have vibrant and colorful plumage, with variations among different species. Males often exhibit more striking colors and patterns compared to females, as they play a more prominent role in courtship and territorial defense. Their plumage may include shades of black, brown, white, and various hues of blue, green, or red, depending on the species. Jacanas have relatively long and slender bills that are adapted for foraging in their wetland habitats. The shape and size of the bill may vary slightly among species but are generally designed for picking and probing in search of insects, small invertebrates, and other prey items. Although they are primarily adapted for walking on floating vegetation and foraging in wetland habitats, jacanas can fly when needed. However, their flight is generally short and low, as they are more adapted for a terrestrial lifestyle in their wetland environments. Jacanas have relatively short and rounded wings, which are suitable for quick bursts of flight rather than sustained soaring. They use their wings to move between different wetland areas, find suitable nesting sites, or escape from potential threats. Jacanas are known to produce various vocalizations, including calls and songs, as a means of communication. The specific sounds produced by jacanas can vary between species. Jacanas often emit contact calls to maintain contact with their mates or family members. These calls are typically short and sharp, serving to locate each other within their wetland habitats. When jacanas perceive a potential threat or danger, they may give out alarm calls to alert others in the vicinity. These calls are usually louder and more urgent, helping to warn other jacanas of potential danger. During courtship and breeding displays, male jacanas may produce a variety of calls to attract females and establish their territories. These display calls can be more melodious and complex compared to their regular contact or alarm calls.
When defending their territory or engaging in territorial disputes with other individuals, jacanas may produce aggressive calls. These calls can be intense and harsh, serving as warnings to rivals to stay away. Jacanas have a primarily insectivorous diet, but their food preferences can vary slightly among species. Jacanas feed extensively on insects, including beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, dragonflies, and various aquatic insects. They are adept at foraging among vegetation and along the water's edge, where they search for insects in the surrounding foliage or on the water surface. Jacanas also consume spiders, snails, worms, and other small invertebrates that are found in their wetland habitats. They use their long toes and sharp bills to pick and probe for these prey items. While insects and invertebrates form the primary component of their diet, jacanas may also supplement their meals with seeds, fruits, and plant matter. They may consume seeds and small fruits that are readily available in their wetland environments. Jacanas build their nests on floating vegetation or among dense aquatic vegetation, such as water lilies, reeds, or floating mats of vegetation. These locations provide stability and protection for the nest. The nests of jacanas are typically shallow cups or platforms made from plant materials such as leaves, stems, and floating vegetation. The construction of the nest is primarily the responsibility of the male jasanar, who builds and maintains it. Jacanas are monogamous, meaning they form long-term pair bonds with a single mate during the breeding season. The pairs work together in the nesting process, with the male taking the lead in nest construction and territory defense. In jacanas, females are generally larger and more brightly colored than males. They are also more aggressive and dominant during breeding. The female jasanar may defend her chosen male mate and his territory from other females. Although jacanas are monogamous, there are instances of females seeking additional mates. This behavior, known as polyandry, is observed in some jasanar species. In such cases, a single female may mate with multiple males, who then assist in incubating the eggs and raising the chicks. Once the nest is constructed, the female jasanar lays a clutch of eggs, usually numbering three to six, depending on the species. The eggs are incubated by both the male and female parents, with the male taking the primary responsibility for incubation. Both male and female jacanas participate in incubating the eggs and caring for the young chicks. After hatching, the parents continue to share the duties of feeding, protecting, and guiding the chicks until they become independent. Jasanar chicks are precocial, which means they are relatively independent and mobile shortly after hatching. They can leave the nest and start foraging for insects and small invertebrates with the guidance and supervision of their parents. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.